Hello, this is R-I-C-K-Y, the Android Guy. Today I'm going to be showing you one of my new favorite apps called Google Chrome Browser. It has this little Chrome icon right down over here. This is by far my new favorite browser. Currently right now it's only available for Android 4.0, which if you have a phone that came out by the end of the last year, you'll begin a 4.0 update soon. If not, I'm sure Google's going to release it uh, to the entire, you know, 2.0 and up community. Just right now, it's in the beta testing stage. So let me open up Chrome and show you the nice features that it has. I'll zoom out a little bit. Okay. So how Chrome works is you have your tabs right over here, and you can see them all as well as you can open up a new tab. Now, this is very typical. You can, you know, see all your recent places you've gone to on the web. One thing that's actually really nice too, you have, you know, all your desktop bookmarks, including even folders, which is just a nice way to go. You have your websites, as well as your folders. Everything you've used on Chrome, all of your bookmarks will be able to be seen on here. Now let's go back to the tabs real quick and I think I have too many open up quite frankly so I'm gonna close one. Now how you close the tab is actually just swipe to the left or to the right and it's gone. Just that easy. Just a really nice easy animation but we can also go between our apps now, as you can see right now, as soon as I touch the website, it refreshed to the newest version of it. So that's another important thing. It keeps you up to date. So another way that's really nice is actually you can go between all the ones you have open with just a swipe from bezel into the screen. It's really nice. Now, the last feature is going to be really nice is this button all the way over here. This actually syncs up every device that uses Chrome. Now when I mean every device, I mean your desktop, your laptop, your tablet, and of course your phone. So every single Android device that I have that has had Chrome up for within a couple hours to within five days ago. I can see all the tabs and don't have to email myself, oh, I have to remember to check out this website, I have to remember to check out this. They're actually all up. So it's really nice and convenient just to be able to go right to a website now and then without having to email it to yourself or anything like that. Now, of course, every app has its flaws. So one thing I always like to do is point out the current flaws on an app. Now. The current flaws on uh, Google Chrome would definitely be that right now, while it is the fastest one with HTML5, fortunately, currently right now, it doesn't support Flash, which, honestly, these past couple days, when I look up an article and it says cannot load, it's really, really annoying. I, like, stopped and looked at myself, and I, I just don't know how Apple people do it. I just, I, how, do you, how do you get through that annoyance, especially because you have no solution? With here, of course, you know, we just copy and paste into our regular browser or Dolphin browser or Opera, whichever other browser you use on Android, and th there's problem solved. The other solution, which actually, the other problem which uh, Google's currently fixing a solution for right now, is that you can't easily click on the menu a desktop version of the website. Now, this usually can be corrected by the website itself. As for example, I'm on bestbuy.com. I can actually just go to the bottom and click the full site. Most websites will have this option, whether it be like newspaper, whether it be MSN, whether it be uh, news feeds like in Gadget. You can generally always do this. And of course, you can just pinch to zoom very easily and use it from there. So, those are all the pros and cons of Google Chrome browser definitely if you have the option of trying it I would definitely definitely recommend it it's just really good I love the my favorite feature by far though is definitely 
being able to see all my tabs open up it's just it's the best form of synchronization that no other browser can compare to at this point all right thank you for watching this is r i c k y the android guy hey guys have an android question feel free to click the i have a question button you know if you have a question or you can just leave us a question in the comment section down below i'll respond asap or if your question's really good i'll dedicate a whole video towards it this is R I C K Y, the Android guy. Oh, yeah, and of course, subscribe to us because in the Android we trust.